Man UTD considered Cleberson a safer bet than Ronaldo, so why did the World Cup winner flop at Old Trafford? The Brazilian was unveiled at Old Trafford alongside a little-known teenager from Portugal and that was arguably the highlight of his time in England. This weekend, Cristiano Ronaldo will make his much-anticipated return as a Manchester United player after signing for the club for the second time following an extraordinary few days at the end of August. Ronaldo's second move to Old Trafford was perhaps the most eagerly greeted in the history of English football. Shirt sales skyrocketed. Social media was set ablaze which all stands in fascinating comparison to his first arrival at Old Trafford back in 2003. Then, Ronaldo was a risky signing for Man UTD, not because of the pressure expectation and his immense wages this time, but because he was a 19-year-old untested at the highest level of the European game and inheriting the number 7 shirt from a modern club icon, David Beckham. He did not even get his own unveiling on the Old Trafford pitch, instead having to share the spotlight with a player viewed as a much safer bet of a signing. A Brazilian international, a World Cup winner 12 months previously, an uncompromising central midfielder who would surely fit in well in the Premier League. That player was Cleberson, and while Ronaldo's story at Manchester United and beyond is as remarkable as it is well told, that of the Brazilian has rather less glamour and success to it, at least not in English football. There is an infamous photo of the pair stood on the Old Trafford pitch at their unveiling, arms around each other and holding aloft one end each of a scarf. Ronaldo is wearing bootcut jeans, while Cleberson has, along with his United top, a pair of dodgy black leather trousers. It is certainly a standout image, and perhaps the most eye-catching thing Cleberson ever did on the Old Trafford pitch. Cleberson signed for Man UTD from Brazilian club Atletico Paranaense for £7.7 .7 million, $10.6 million, with Sir Alex Ferguson outmaneuvering several other major European forces of the time, including Barcelona, to bring in a player who had been key to Brazil's success at the 2002 World Cup. Cleberson had been the breakout Selecao star in Japan and Korea. He did not play until their final group game, but his immense work rate and energy, combined with flair and confidence on the ball, made him crucial for manager Felipe Scolari in the latter stages. He replaced Junin for the starting 11 of the quarterfinal against England, where he nullified Paul Scholes, and maintained his place through to the final where Brazil beat Germany, with Cleberson almost snatching the headlines from two-goal Ronaldo, the other one, when he struck the crossbar from 30 yards. Such a good performance against Man UTD star Scholes caught the eye at Old Trafford, and a year later they got their man. 